Hey, what is up everybody? This is Kay Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Pine Pollen Superfoods and Trained for Longevity. Today we're going to be going over kettlebell windmill variations. Now before I get started, first of all, I'm in Sparks, Nevada today. I'm on location at the beautiful Sparks Marina Park. So, I'm kneeling in really hard packed sand and it hurts my knee a little bit. I'm going to be going into a half kneeling position eventually. So just bear with me if I make any grimaces or weird facial expressions. Okay, so first things first, let's just do the basic windmill. So the basic windmill is performed like this. We're going to grab our kettlebell, bring it into a rack position, and then we're going to press it. And what we want to do is keep our arm perfectly straight and locked the whole time, and we want our arm to be in line with our ear or slightly behind it. Now, the kettlebell is in my right hand. We're going to take our feet, and we're going to windshield wash or fluid them this way. So basically, they're going to be in a 45-degree angle. Now, kettlebell is in my right arm. We want our right leg to remain perfectly straight the whole time, and we're going to push our hips this way as if there was a wall here. And we're gonna take this hand and place it on the inside of the thigh on the other side. We can bend this knee slightly, but always make sure this knee is straight. So here's what it looks like. This is our basic windmill. We're gonna lower ourselves down as far as we can go. Come all the way up until your shoulders are square to the ground, and then repeat. Come down, come up, come down, come up, okay? That is your first windmill right there. Now, we can do a double kettlebell windmill where we have another kettlebell placed on the inside of our foot. Now I'm using a differential weight here. This is a 20 and this is a 15 and these are just for demonstrative purposes. Normally when I'm doing beefcake windmills, I use a really heavy kettlebell. Usually it's my 32 kilogram. Now you can use the same weight kettlebell for these or you can use a lighter one at the top and a heavier one at the bottom or you can vice versa and do the opposite. It's entirely up to you and both are going to challenge your systems a little bit differently. Since I did my right side, I'm going to go left side now. Okay, so now we're going to start the windmill exactly the same. We're going to go this way. We're going to place that kettlebell right in the inside of our foot. Now we're going to lower ourselves down, grab the handle, and then we're going to come up and lower ourselves down again. And back up. And back up. Okay? All the rules apply the same way. But this time we're going to lower this one down, place it on the ground, then come up, and then tuck this one in. So that right there is a double kettlebell windmill. Now, you can also do what's called, I just call it a low windmill. So now we're going to eliminate the top portion altogether, but we're going to put our feet in the exact same position as if we were going to do an overhead windmill. But now we're just going to keep a kettlebell on the ground. So the same thing's going to apply here. Straight leg, hips pressed against the wall, slight bend in this knee. Reach down, grab this kettlebell. You can put your hand on your hip and come right up like this. See that? That's a very basic windmill variation right there and I would suggest doing that if you're brand new to these and you don't really have the range of motion to go with the kettlebell above your head. Okay now we've got a half kneeling windmill. So this is how this is going to work. I'm going to rack our kettlebell. Kettlebell's in my right hand. I'm going to place my left knee gingerly on the ground. Okay so you want to form about a 90 degree bend here. Keep your thigh parallel to the ground. Press your kettlebell. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to bend sideways. Touch your hand on the floor or the ground if you're outside like I am and then come up. Lower yourself down, come back up. If you want to get a little deeper, you can go down and then bring your forearm all the way to the ground, if you can get there, and then come all the way up like that. And when you do this and turn your foot in, you can usually get deeper and get your forearm almost to the ground or to the ground. It depends on your range of motion and flexibility. Okay? Boom, just like that. So there you have four different, I think I did four, Four different windmill variations to work with so have fun with those give them a spin let me know if you have any questions or comments and please make sure to like and share our videos and subscribe to our youtube page this is k rail chief fitness advisor for pine pollen superfoods and trade for longevity until next time